Welcome to the next tutorial of Fusion. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to do roto or rotoscopy in Fusion. We will load up the BG and FG in the scene. I will select this birds BG. Uh, sorry FG in my scene yeah you can see a bird is here so I will I will mask this bird with some spline tools and then place it on a background which will be maybe this or this So this is the this will be the background this will be the foreground so for masking we have some tools here like B spline tool we have ellipse we have polygon spline tool as the name suggests if we select the polygon tool we see that the handles are very sharp on the other hand if we select the B spline tool you can see that we have a bezier handle like I will click click I can click drag I can click drag you can see it here that I have a curve here so I could adjust the curvature depending on my objects outline now always I recommend you that you first mask your object then later on you could change some curve uh, some point parameters from Bezier to linear which I will show you in a second always while you are masking make sure you are zooming in and out of the object every time sometimes the object may not be as clear as it looks in the zoomed out position not to worry for that always take the inner edge so that none of the background in the uh, objects uh, image is visible so this is how I am going to mask this always take the inner edge for a very blurry object the portions which are straight you could take long distance clicks Make sure you remember from where you started we have started from this point so we are close to that now and once I have I'm have reached the point I will just click on this point you can see here the cursor changes to a circle I'll click it to finish it now this is my B spline now you see one thing that I have not connected this B spline to my any of the nodes this is because I just want this outline to be visible okay now one thing I would tell you is that whenever you click any point and you say here linear at that time this point becomes linear you can see it here now it's linear and whenever you say it here as smooth then it will get converted into smooth you can see it here so you can adjust your points with smoothing and you can uh, for example if you need a very sharp point here here so you would just select this and say here linear 
it will become a sharp point like this or else if you want a smooth point it will be something like this here you have some things like delete points and everything the points where you don't need any points if I don't need this point so I'll select it and I will say here delete points it will get rid of that point okay now make sure you are in frame number zero because it gets automatically animated because here you can see here the animation key is already set for the frame zero so if you move forth in time then it will set a key for the animation now once you're done with this now for merging this what am i going to do is first of all i'm going to see this image is 2560 by 1920 okay so now we will be merging the fg and bg okay so as you see here that i have my frame format to 1920 what am i gonna do is i am going to first select a background which is 1920 now this is a background which is way too high than 1920 by 1080 now i will add a tool which will be resize resize will allow my any of the image to get resized appropriately now you can see here that as soon as i enable this the resize node it gets cropped and it gets attached to the uh, it it gets adjusted in the hd format now for the birds i am going to bring in the birds and add them so what am i going to do is i'm going to add a merge tool i'll add the bg to it add a fg to it now you can see here that if i switch this on then i can see the bird as well as the background of the bird over this so what am i going to do is i'm going to plug in my b spline in the uh, mask of the bird so as soon as i plug in you can see here that the background is gone now I need to scale this so I will select the birds I will say XF that is transform which we saw in the earlier video I will scale this yeah that's fine okay now what am I gonna do is I am going to make this background a bit blurry so I'm gonna select this and select blur here you can see here we have blur so I will just increase the blur size yeah that looks fine Now it looks fine. So the original image, I will just copy this, paste it. The original image, what was this? We have an image like this. In future, if you want to change the BG, in, in future, if you want to change the background, you need to load the background now this time I'm going to select this background and you will disconnect this node here and you will connect it to the blur and you saw already saw that this BG got uh, changed so there are various ways by which you could play around with BG and play around with FG if you feel like color correcting this so you could surely select the birds select go into color correction and for now on just remember if you just drag the wheel the master wheel to any of the color the image starts changing so this looks a bit better it matches with the bg you can switch this off on to see the change okay so we will learn about color correction later but for now on we we just saw how to import the fg bg and get it cropped by using the B spline mask, which is also known as rotoscopy. Thank you.